Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I am back today with a Walmart haul for you. It has been almost four weeks since me and hubby went and picked up a big order from Walmart. And this is a big one, guys. It was $350, but we got things that we normally don't get and we got all of our meat for the holidays. So it cost a lot more than what it should have. I had to pick up things that I needed for the holidays that were pricey. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go around the table like I always do. Plus I have another counter full to show you, but I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna give you a, um, a look at the receipt because I know there are some of you that like to screenshot. I don't know if you're gonna be able to get that because it's a pretty long receipt, but it was like $350.09 crazy. <clears throat> so I'm just going to start right here. Yes, I picked up my cupcakes because I love them. They're delicious. They didn't have the just plain vanilla that was the mixture today, the vanilla and chocolate, which is fine. They're good. Then hubby saw this the last time he was in Walmart and he didn't pick it up and there was one still there when he went. We went, so he grabbed it. This is the Little Marine Corps it's a, he's going to use it with the train set. I don't think that you would consider this an ornament because there's nowhere to hang it and it's pretty heavy. And this was $5, $4.97, and it is the Toys for Tots, which you guys all know that's near and dear to our heart. Hubby was a Marine. One of you had mentioned always a Marine. Absolutely. And he got this. I think it's adorable. So, yeah, got that. And then they had a big bin of the candle melts. I love these. And these were scents that I had never smelled before. So I went ahead and grabbed one of each. This is the Glistening Pine. And I think these were $2 a piece. This smells so nice. And this one, the Soft Chewy Snickerdoodles, it, just, it smells delicious. And these are made in the USA, by the way, by this Scentsationals company. So I just grabbed one of each of those to have here for the holiday season, make the house smell nice and nice and holiday-ish. I needed my mouthwash. You guys hear me talking about this with every haul. I love this stuff. It's a pre-brush dental rinse. So you do this before you brush your teeth and it just helps remove plaque and all that fun stuff. 24 ounce, love this. Hubby needed his vitamins and these are the adult multi gummies plus immune. This is what he gets all the time, and he likes them. He actually likes the gummy vitamins better than taking a, a capsule. So he grabbed those, 120 counts, so this will last him for like three months. I think it's just one per serving. No, it's two per serving, so it'll last him two months. So grab those. He needed his deodorant, and this is his absolute favorite. It's the Dove Men's Care, and non-irritant formula, stain defense, and he really likes this because it doesn't turn the armpits in his shirts yellow. And it doesn't, you know, when you first spray it on, it doesn't um, get all cakey and weird. So he likes this a lot. And it's pricey in itself. I dropped my receipt, guys. Hold that thought for one second. I apologize for that. Then I needed some protein shakes. They didn't have my big packs of them. They only had the four packs. So I just grabbed one in the chocolate flavor. And these are the Equate high performance protein in chocolate, just a four pack. I don't know what's going on with their big cases of them, but it is what it is. Then I needed for some gifts that I picked up, I needed some better batteries, not Dollar Tree brand. I needed some like for high drain things. So I picked up two of the AA and two of the AAA. Those will go with the gifts. Grandkids, you know, everything you get them, it takes batteries. Hubby loves these sardines. He picked up four cans. These are the great value, the sardines in Louisiana hot sauce. He hasn't picked these up in a really long time. I don't know if it's because they weren't there or maybe he just wasn't hungry for them, but this time he picked up, picked up four. And I believe they're all the same in the Louisiana hot sauce. So that must be his favorite. And we also picked up some corned beef hash, the great value. We really enjoy this. Easy, quick breakfast food. Fry this up till it's nice and golden brown. Make some, some dippy eggs. Do you guys call them dippy eggs? 
delicious. So we grabbed two cans of those to put on the shelf. Fall is coming, and I don't know why. It seems like we eat this more in the fall and winter than we do in the spring and summer. So grab two of those. Hubby needed his ranch dressing. He loves the Hidden Valley Ranch, the buttermilk, and he likes the better buttermilk better than like just the regular ranch. So I went ahead and grabbed a big thing of it, and it is a 24 fluid ounce. This will last him a very long time, but that's his favorite. And then for the holidays, I'm being lazy this year, guys. I am not baking homemade pies. So I picked up, I couldn't find any frozen apple pie. I will keep a lookout for that. So I just picked up one from the bakery and I don't know what these are like. I've never had them before, but it was $4 and something for this 24 ounce pie, one pound, eight ounce. So if you guys have tried these, let me know what you think and do they freeze well? Because this is going in the freezer. So we're gonna give that a try for Thanksgiving. I also picked up the Great Value Traditional Pumpkin Pie. This we have had many times and it is delicious. So picked up that and it is a 32 ounce. It's a two, two pound, four ounce, nice size pie. So went ahead and grabbed that and it is no artificial preservatives, no high fructose corn syrup. Had that many, many times and they're good. And yes, I'm being lazy. Picked up some Banquet Fried Chicken. We have not had this in, I'll bet you it's two years at least. So hubby actually saw it and grabbed it. This may be for supper tonight because I'm going to be lazy tonight and not cook homemade. And we love this banquet fried chicken. I don't know why we don't buy it more, but grab that to have. And with it, we may have the Mrs. T's pierogies, classic cheddar. Yes, I am. I am Slovak, Rusin, Polish, plus a lot of everything else. But I grew up making homemade pierogies and my gram made homemade pierogies, which that is kind of, it's even pronouncing it wrong. It's actually pierogi, but I'm going to have that with it too. And you get 12 in here. These are good. Mrs. T's are delicious. Another thing that we have tried many, many times is the stuffed shells, the great value brand. These are good. If you guys haven't tried these, try them. They are delicious. So we're going to have that. I don't know if I'm gonna have this tonight or the banquet fried chicken. One or the other is gonna be for supper. But these are very, very good. Almost everything we have tried in these quick meals, we call them quick meals, from the Great Value brand has been delicious. Picked up the party pizzas, you know, it's like every haul I have to get these with grandkids and me because I love them. I always keep these on stock and it's the four pack. And I always get the pepperoni. Every once in a while, they don't have the pepperoni in stock, so I get the just plain, I think it's four cheese, and then add our own pepperoni to it. Very good. This is probably my favorite of the frozen pizzas. They're delicious. The beef raviolis, we have tried these many times, and the cheese as well. I should have grabbed the cheese ones, but I did not. And the Great Value brand, these are delicious too. Quick, easy, five and a half minutes to boil them till they're cooked, add some red sauce to it, some garlic bread, a side salad, and it's a big bag. It's 25 ounces, one pound, nine ounce. Very good. So if you guys haven't tried these, I highly recommend, and I know Hubby would highly recommend, and also Harper and London would recommend the beef and the cheese raviolis. They've tried them both and love them. And then these are a little quick side that we pick up when we see them. They're all bird's eye brand. And Hubby really enjoys these creamed spinach. Me, not so much. I don't like it. So we picked up two of those. And then I actually like the seasoned Brussels sprouts. And these are bird's eye as well. And we picked up two of those. And this is a 10.8 ounce in this creamed spinach and a 10 ounce in the seasoned Brussels sprouts. And these are seasoned with sea salt and cracked pepper. They're very good. I love the Bird's Eye brand. It is a little more pricey, but it's delicious. And then from like the cooler section, the dairy area, I needed my mozzarella cheese. This is a staple in this house. I use it every few days. We use mozzarella cheese for something. So grabbed it, 16 ounce, great value brand, love it. We needed some sprinkle cheese. I had picked up that bottle in the Dollar Tree that little canister of it and wasn't a super big fan of that 
So we did pick up, uh, this is what we get. It's our favorite, it's the 4C brand, all natural, and it's Parmesan Romano, and there's no cellulose in this. And we like it a lot, and it's six ounces. So, and pretty jar. And we have refilled this jar as well. It has like the sprinkle top with the bigger holes. We get fresh Parmesan cheese and then grate it ourselves really fine and just reuse the jar. So grab that. Hubby got his cottage cheese. This is the fat free this time that he picked up. Oh, my phone is ringing. I can hear it, the house phone. And this is the small curd, which he enjoys. And it's a 24 ounce container. He loves cottage cheese. Picked up a thing of sour cream. This is the great value as well. A lot of great value items. Picked this up to make my dip for game day. Delicious. Also for game day is the Hillshire Farms, the Cheddar Little Smokies. We've switched to the cheddar flavor. It's like everybody seems to like this better than just the original Little Smokies. So picked up one of those and it's a 13 ounce. This was a little bit of a splurge for me. I've uh, This was almost $7 for this one pound thing of the seltzers, the Lebanon Bologna. I love it. And I haven't had this in so long, but I love Lebanon Bologna and I was hungry for it. This will be my lunch today. Well, not all of it, of course, but oh, it's so good. Do any of you like Lebanon Bologna? I absolutely love it. I grew up with it as a kid. Just an easy sandwich with a little bit of yellow mustard. So good. And I don't buy it because it has gotten so pricey. But I splurged. And you'll see we splurged on another item as well here coming up. But Hubby picked up his lunch meat that he really enjoys. And this is the Lando Frost. One pound of the Old World Style Black Forest Ham, which I enjoy as well. And this is... <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. This is no byproducts. What does that say? No byproducts, no artificial flavors in that. And then he picked up the one pound of the hickory smoked turkey breast. And it's also no byproducts. And what does it say? No artificial flavors, no added hormones. And these are one pound bags. Grab that. We needed some coffee creamer, which is a staple in this house as well. I like the sugar-free vanilla, great value, French vanilla, and Hubby likes the Italian sweet cream. So we did pick up three of each of those. And it, you guys see now, I mean, it's been four weeks since we went and got a big order of groceries. So, you know, three bottles of that lasts us a month. Needed some milk, so we grabbed the great value, just whole milk, and this is a half a gallon. And then we picked up orange juice this time, and this is with calcium and vitamin D. This is the great value. I was looking at Tropicana brand for the one with the calcium and vitamin D, and it only came in a super big jug. But the reason I picked this up is our littlest grandlady has decided she's not drinking milk anymore. She just will not drink it. Nobody can get her to drink it. And we do want her to have a little bit of extra calcium and vitamin D. So we're gonna give this a shot. Next time we see her, we're gonna let her try it. And it had a really nice shelf life on it too. I think it's like November, November 27th. So, you know, if we don't see her in the next week or so, we know this is still gonna be good in the fridge until we do see her. And we needed some eggs. Man, guys, the price of eggs is skyrocketed. It's crazy. These were, I think $3 and something for a dozen eggs. Nuts, but you need them and the holidays are coming. So I did grab a dozen. I have actually started holiday baking, so I've been going through eggs. And then back here, I got my diet decaf soda. This is the diet Sam's Cola in the caffeine free. I don't drink a lot of soda, but that's my favorite when I do. Picked up some snacks for game day. This is the Utz brand, the Ripples Barbecue. I'm really liking these. I was looking for the Gibbles brand of barbecue and they were wiped out. I think people have learned my secret and now I can't find the Gibbles brand in barbecue. They had everything else, but not barbecue. Picked up a smaller bag of Doritos, the just regular nacho cheese. That's our other staple in this house. Needed some bread. We needed some steak rolls and these are the Myers brands. 
premium Italian steak rolls, and it was six in here, 15 ounce. Not sure what we're making out of those yet. Some type of subs with the lunch meat. If you watch my daughter's channel, The Holistic Homesteader, you know that their staple in their house when it comes to bread and rolls is Martin's, and we love them as well. And these are, you get eight of the potato rolls, and these are the sandwich rolls, kind of like a hamburger bun, but I use those for any type of sandwich. And then we picked up our bread that we always get. This is Schmidt's brand, Old Time 647. And this is the potato bread. You can tell we really like potato bread in this house. Grab that to have. Make sandwiches out of and French toast. All right, I think I showed you everything on the table. So now you're going to get a view of my floor. And I'm going to start over here. I needed all of the veggies. We were just out. It's Four weeks is a very long time. Well, like I said, we made a small, small haul not too long ago. But it was time, guys. I needed a head of lettuce. So grab this brand, this Tanamina, Tanamora, Tanamora, an Antle brand, which is the brand they seem to have in my store right now a lot. And hey, do you guys see, this is that strip that I got from Sheen to put between your stove and the countertop so food and grease and things don't fall between. Love it. Look how nice that lays. It's just, it lays so nice. You can see it needs cleaned. Sorry about that. They work great for just $3, I think, is all they were. But anyway, lettuce, <clears throat> my favorite tomatoes, the little nature sweet, the cherubs, I love them. I love these just to snack on. And it's a 16.5 ounce, so you get quite a lot in there. Got to grab some bananas because bananas are a staple in our house as well, and they looked nice today. So I think there's six here, bananas. I needed some cauliflower for game day. Same brand, that Tanamora and Antol brand. And they looked really nice. The, the um, cauliflower looked beautiful today. They were all super big heads. Needed some broccoli, so I just grabbed some little broccoli crowns for a, a veggie tray. And also baby carrots, which are a staple in this house. And this is the Bolt House Farms. And one pound of baby carrots. Grabbed one cucumber, also for the veggie tray or salads, whatever it may, if I may make into it. Sorry for the um, for the shadow, guys. The light is right behind me on the ceiling, so. And it needed some celery, and this is the Tanamora brand as well, the Tanamora and Antle. Grabbed a stalk of celery. And then another <laughs> Dollar Tree plates and napkins. This is a big time splurge for us. Every year, a hubby's favorite meal of all time probably is prime rib and of course we all know it is super expensive but during the holidays christmas hubby makes prime rib it is his specialty he loves it he loves making prime rib we do this once a year and this roast which is does it say the pounds on there this phone and focusing is not very well not very good it's four pounds 4.47 pounds and it was 11.97 a pound. It was 53.51 but marked down to $40.13. So this will be Christmas, you know, Christmas dinner this prime rib. It is delicious. It is it is so such a big splurge for us, but we do it once a year and it's worth it. Needed some hamburger, so grab 2 pounds and I usually get them in the pre-packaged 1 pound things just because I just, it's easier. I can throw them in the freezer just like that. So grab those. Also for Christmas dinner, we grabbed our ham because I really doubt prices are gonna drop that much. What do you guys think between now and the holidays? And they were so nicely stocked with their hams. I thought, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it. So this ham was, let me see, how much was it? It was $23.81 and it was, 10 pounds, 10.63 pounds, and it was $2.24 a pound. And I really like the Sugardale brand, so went ahead and grabbed that, the smoked ham. And my favorite ham glaze was sitting right beside it. When we saw it, we grabbed it because this will get wiped out and then I won't be able to find it. This is the Cross and Blackwell ham glaze. If you guys haven't tried this, try it. Probably 
20 minutes before your ham comes out of the oven, just spoon this over your ham. Oh, it is so good, guys. Everybody in the family loves this ham glaze. So went ahead and grabbed it now. And then I grabbed two turkeys because I just, one, I like having turkey any time of the year, but I figured for Thanksgiving, I may as well go ahead and I actually have the tags here. One of them was 14.03 pounds. They were $1.48 a pound. The big gigantic turkeys were a little bit cheaper than this, but I don't need a 24 pound turkey. So I did go with the smaller ones. It, so they were a little bit pricier. I think the bigger ones were $1.19 or $1.29 a pound. These were $1.48. But the one was $20.76. And the other one was smaller. It was 10, 10.39 pounds. So it's about four pounds smaller. And it was $15.38. So... You know, I figured I would just go ahead and grab them and take the chance of, you know, getting them now and then watch. They'll probably drop to 69 cents a pound and then I'll have to buy another one because I won't pass up that price. So, yeah, guys, that was it for this Walmart haul. We did get a few splurge items, but doing it once a year, I just, you know, why not? We're worth it. It's hubby's favorite meal for that prime rib. He is definitely worth it. And yeah. All right, guys. That is it for this $350.09 Walmart haul. If you guys like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys mean the world to me. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.